Hey y'all, it's from Gilly here. Today is the 12th of February. Two more days till Lover's Day. Anyway, I'm making a mock version of a Subway Hoagie House or EG's uh, sub sandwich, except we're going to use uh, bread I came across that sprouted uh, flourless whole wheat berry bread and I got it at Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's expensive, but I think my health is worth it, even though I'm not supposed to have, uh, but it's very low in sugar. You got protein, you got um, grain, raisins, and uh, good for us, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use a, a bell pepper, onion. Boiled egg, because I like boiled egg. Some black olives. I like uh, provolone cheese, but I couldn't find any, so I just gonna use a uh, regular sharp cheddar cheese, the uh, orange one. I don't know why they call it yellow when it's orange. I'm gonna use, <clears throat> excuse me, my favorite for tuna. I'm using uh, Miracle Whip, because I like the sweetness of that. And then I'm gonna use, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sweet relish. And uh, trap these uh, hot peppers, you know, these little green things. So, I usually like jalapenos with my uh, tuna, but. And here's a, a good uh, clue to do when you're making tuna because you know it's fish and you want to keep it cold. Even though it's not fresh, but it's in the can, but it's in water. Don't get the one in oil, even though I like the one in oil. But um, anyway, let's get started. What you do is you put your bowl if it's a metal bowl or whatever container in the freezer for about 10 minutes so it stays cold i'm gonna go get the bowl you've seen this on my shows before i like this bowl a lot and i drain the tuna What you want to do is start with what you want to start with. So I'm going to do the onion first because I don't want to be crying. Make as many slices as you want. And it's a bright one because it's running with juices. I'm not using um, tomato because I don't for tomato that way. I'll use it as like a, I make a homemade burger or something where the heat of the meat will uh, soften up the tomato. Now usually I mix everything in the, the bowl, you know, when I'm home alone or with family, but since I'm doing, like I said, a mock version of Subway, Hobby House, Easy's, or wherever you get a uh, sub sandwich from. But I'm using regular bread, so to speak, regular bread. You know, I mean, not your standard white bread. Okay, while well, I continue to uh, chop up this stuff, I'll be right back. Both. You can use green olive if you want, but I like both, but I'm using black olive. I already pre rinsed my bell pepper, so.
I leave those seeds on there because that's a plate work. Oh, you notice something? I got the light fixed. Not that you care, but I do. Then I make low uh, dice. And with the egg, you're getting protein. Then I'm gonna make a banana smoothie, but it's gonna have uh, a different kinds of dairy. Well, one's not really dairy, but um, anyway, we'll start assembling your sandwich. But of course, we'll take the bread. I do like to put black pepper on my tuna. I usually put it on the sandwich, but I'll just pre mix it in the tuna. Yeah. 
Usually I would eat um, two different slices or just uh, by itself like that with the toppings here. So first we're going to layer it with the layer the way you want, but I'm doing it my way. The onion. The chopped up bell pepper. And usually I use all the four different colors of bell pepper. I believe there's even a purple one out there. I haven't tried that one yet. Or blue I on TV it looks purple. Wish I had a spinach like my tuna fish with spinach. Have it your mock subway hoagie house, BG's, or like I said, wherever you buy your sub sandwiches from. I don't need to exclude the other places, I just don't know where you go. So you get other sub sandwiches, wipe this off, and I like my sandwich cut in, down the middle. There you have it. Your mock Subway sandwich. Tuna sandwich. Okay, I'll be back later after I eat. About an hour later, I'm gonna make the banana drink. Put up the banana. I got everything ready because not limited time here. One banana. We're gonna use some heavy whipping cream. Instead of sugar or honey. Some whole milk. And a good cinnamon powder. Or brown cinnamon, I should say. Vanilla. Blend it up for a couple of minutes. So while this is blending, I'm going to pause the camera. Okay, blend it for about three minutes. Sounds like it's got strawberries in it. Made enough to put my favorite glass to there. See, there. All my sugars have been good, so I'm giving myself to something sweet. So, stick a straw in there. There you go. You have a good filling of a drink that will hold you over till morning. If not, then just have a light. Uh, a few graham crackers or something, you know, with not too much sugar in there, or an energy bar or something that has protein. Okay, thanks. Have a good night.